Welcome again. Right now we're at Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. We are one in Christ. Paul said, Where there can't be Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bondservant or free person, but Christ is all and in all. Now, this is one of those verses that can be easily misinterpreted, okay? It doesn't say there is no difference between Greek and Jew, between master and slave. In an absolute, universal, all-consuming sense, it is merely coming at this particular topic from one point of view, okay? From the point of view of being in Christ. And I guarantee you, by the way, this is a good little side note here. I guarantee you that most people, by far most people, even people that go to church, even church leaders, are not in Christ. You have to be completely dead to the old self and completely brand new, a new creation, really, truly born again in order to be really in Christ. But if you are in Christ, then from the point of view of being in Christ, then yes, in that particular sense, Jew and Greek, master and slave, employer and employee are all one, one in Christ, all on the same level, all on the same field, all one. It's talking about oneness in Christ. I mean, you can't go to work and tell your boss, hey, you know what? It says in the scripture, there's no difference between me and you. So get off the, get out of the office and get off the seat because I'm just as good as you are in Christ. You can't do that, okay? Because listen, you got to take this into context. In Christ, from the point of view, from that one simple point of view, looking through the scope in this one way, there is no difference in the context of being in Christ, unity in Christ. Until next time, seek him with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.